Good morning, people. This video is already starting off lame because I woke up with multiple nightmares. Cool. Cool. Nightmares feel so traumatizing because they feel so real. But I'm going to get my day started and you guys are going to come with me today and just we're going to hang out. So now that the news is broken and everyone knows that I'm a single gal, um, I thought I would vlog. Uh, today's gonna be a fun one. <coughs> I've actually been starting my day off with Bloom and it's helped me with my bloating and indigestion. It also helps with immunity. I got the mango flavor and it actually tastes really good. Getting my greens in. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. All right, here's the dealio with today. I need to get ready because I have a lot of errands to run and I have to go to therapy and I think I'm going to a party tonight, which it's like, it's a friend's birthday. I don't want to miss it, but I don't know, man. Who's gone through a breakup here? Clap if you've gone through a breakup. I can't see you. Um, I'm sure 90% of you have and whether it was mutual, whether it wasn't, whether you guys are friends or not, whether everything's okay, it's still a breakup and it's still okay to be sad. Some days are better than others. For example, yesterday was better than today and the day before that was better than today too. Um, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it looks like I need to go to Sephora and Ulta today too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here's my tea right now. My eyebrows aren't done. What were we talking about again? I think we're talking about the fact that I'm going through a breakup. My eyebrows aren't done and it's like actually looks super bad but I'm going on a cruise in like a week and I know if I get my eyebrows done today, they're gonna grow back <laughs> and not be where I want them to be at on the cruise and it's gonna drive me crazy. So I just have to bear with fugly. I mean, these don't look fugly, but they just look a little off. Eyebrows, so we're gonna like definitely put some work into them today. All right, I'm doing a fine. I'm doing as fine as someone could be. Jake and I are still really good friends. I literally just, just texted him. I will say ever since we posted our breakup video, um, my mind has been a little bit like, I don't know how to explain it, like kind of like foggy, like all over the place. Cause I just feel like we had been broken up for almost a month and everything was like completely fine with us. But now that everyone else knows, I just feel like everyone's judging me. I feel judgment. You know what I mean? Not even in a bad way. I just feel like everyone's like blabbing. Everyone's like talking about it. Like whether it's like people around me or like the internet and I can't escape it. Okay, that was really dramatic and sad, I'm sorry. I'm fine for the most part. <laughs> I'm just trying to live day to day. And that's, I feel like, what most people should be doing if they're going through a breakup is just like take it day by day because like, if you think of the future, it's gonna stress you the f out. So just, I'm not giving very good advice right now because I'm not in the place to give very good advice. So don't listen to a word I'm saying. It's just kind of crazy because like usually I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so excited for the party tonight. But I don't know if I am because this would be the first party that I'm going to that people know that we're broken up. And I just feel like, I don't know, it's going to feel weird. Sorry, this is like a really TMI video, but I feel like that's why you guys clicked on it, right? Like, oh, how's Tara doing after a breakup? I'm okay. I'm as okay as someone can be. You know what I mean? Days are harder than others. Um, I just fully picked my nose a little bit on camera. That's gross. Okay. And my eyebrows are pissing me off, I'm gonna wax them off and put them on sugar. Actually, I wouldn't even give sugar to these eyebrows because why would I do him like that? All right, what should we do with my face today? Okay, I need to go to Ulta or Sephora today, so you guys are coming with me. We're gonna go shopping because that's what makes Tara feel better. I decided I wanna do eyeshadow today, which is like, I never, I never do eyeshadow. I know it looks dark right now, but it's gonna fucking fade in two seconds because I don't use primer or anything like that because I don't give a flying poo. I feel very tired, so I think I'm going to definitely get a matcha or a coffee. Actually, do I want coffee today or do I want a matcha today? Well, it was matcha, but now it's like more like coffee. I don't know. I'm like so back and forth with it. Matcha definitely like tastes like summer and coffee tastes more like winter. Also, the PSLs are out, the pumpkin spice lattes, but I am, I'm kind of boycotting it right now because it's like, it tastes like fall and it's not fall yet. It's August. So, I'm not getting a PSL. As much as I want one, I'm not getting one because time and place, time and place. I wonder how many nosy bitches from my high school are watching right now. Hi guys. Not my friend, but random nosy bitches. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I'm in a very angry mood. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I'm looking like not any better than when it started. Let me tell you. As I was getting ready, look who decided to call my ex-boyfriend. I'm shaving my face. 
All right, I'm gonna do a little OOTD for you guys. Um, I decided I'm gonna wear my favorite pants today. My pants are from Urban Outfitters. I love them, they're my favorite pants. This shirt, it's cute because it's like tight at the top and a little loose. It's from Brandy. This is from Urban and my earrings are just what I usually wear. I usually put this bracelet on, my little, um, that's kind of cute, I'll, I'll keep it on. And then I'm just gonna wear Doc Martens. And right now I think I'm gonna go get caffeinated and then I'm gonna go to therapy. I think I'm gonna make sugar an egg. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I just had to take a break from filming because like, like I said, like it's ups and downs. Like there's good moments and there's bad moments. And I was having a bad moment for like a sec. Let's pull it together because sugar needs an egg for breakfast. All right, here's the thing with me and eggs. I have a love-hate relationship with eggs. It's like, I kind of hate eggs if they're like not homemade, but if I make them, or if like my mom makes them, I love an egg. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's weird. I like crave them sometimes, but most of the times egg sounds gross to me. I don't know, it's weird. Like I like eggs, I'm an, I'm an egg lover. It's funny because like I feel like I wouldn't stand and like make myself an egg. Like I'm too freaking lazy, but for sugar, I would do anything. Sugar! Hi! Hi, sugar! Bon appetit. And he's gonna walk away. Like he usually does. Oh. Hell no, man. What the Anyone else's dogs just like hate food? I'm gonna hand feed it to you. Look, I have egg on my finger, sugar. Side eye. Silly smell it. Sugar, give it a sniff. <gasps> See? I know you love it. Here, try more. I tried. Guys, sugar's so weird. He's not like other dogs where he's like super food motivated. He like just like doesn't care to eat that much. He just likes his snacks. That's what we call his treats. He didn't even care that I said the word. Like, he is just being so difficult today. Oh, okay, bye. Do you see what I deal with? I got a package in the mail and I got distracted. So now I'm running late and I don't know if I have time for Starbucks, cause like, of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on my phone, but, cause look what just came in. Look at these little cuffs I got. They're not like real piercings, but I got these little cuffs and like these earrings and like, how cute. I like changed my earrings out. I just think they're like, so cute. I'm like too much of a puss to get this pierced. Even though I have like piercings everywhere. I'm like, that's that's where I draw the line. Oh, it's hot as a freaking witch's butthole in here. Okay, so I ordered, I'm here now. I also got like a bag of chips. I usually get um, string cheese, but they don't have it right now and that makes me sad. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I get. I actually got this order from Verena, but I like made it into my own. She gets it a little different than mine, but definitely inspired by her. I get a double espresso over ice ristretto blonde with two pumps of vanilla, two pumps of brown sugar, and a splash of oat milk over ice in a grande cup. Then I got a bag of chips. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna grab my order because I ordered ahead. I'm gonna bring it in my little car Sip it on my way to my little therapy appointment, and you guys are gonna come with me. All right, <laughs> here I go. I'm running late to therapy. I'm gonna open my bag of chips. Now that's a salty treat right there. This is how my drink comes. It comes like half full, and I always get a straw because I don't wanna stain my teeth. I care about the turtles, but I'm sorry. I just don't want yellow teeth. Boom. Boom, boom. Mmm. Perfect amount of coffee and sweet taste. Now, I get a perfect amount of salty and sweet in my mouth. Off to therapy we go. Wow. Look at that backup. I have a backup camera. No big deal. My first car didn't come with a backup camera, so I learned how to do the old reach and look, which I think people should do more often. I think, like, like, I'm like worried for the new generation of drivers because like, do they get Teslas? Do they just get like self-driven Teslas? No. Like I, if I ever have a kid, which I'm not planning on it, let me tell you. But if I ever do, they will be getting an old ass car with no rear view camera, no self-drive, none of that shit. And they are learning the old fashioned way. Because once you learn the old fashioned way, you become a really good driver. Like I learned on my dad's car and he drives a humongous Ford F-150. And I feel like because I learned on that car, got to red knock on wood, knock on diamonds. Um, I've never gotten in an accident because I feel like I just like know my way around. You know what I mean? Because I'm so used to like a big ass car that my Mini Cooper, when I got it, it was nothing to me. Fun fact about me, I've only ever driven Mini Coopers in my life. Like I've only ever owned Mini Coopers. Um, even the car before this, and so on and so forth was a Mini Cooper. And I'll only ever drive Mini Coopers. So that's my truth. I am running so late to therapy. I texted my therapist and she told me that I could call her and I could use my time that way. So I could like, I'm not like wasting my time. And so I'm gonna be like on the phone walking up to her, <laughs> to, uh, walking up to her office. So that's silly. She's gonna call me in like five minutes. So bye, see you. 
after therapy. Ten hours later. Therapy is so therapeutic. It makes you laugh and cry. Guys, I really suggest therapy for honestly anyone. Anyone who has the means for it should go to therapy. Even if you don't think you need it. it feels kind of good. Um, I love my therapist to a scary degree. <laughs> Hi therapist, if you're watching this. I love you. Are you allowed to say that? Are you allowed to say you love your therapist? When I say goodbye to my therapist, I say I love you. Okay, so now we're gonna do another kind of therapy. <laughs> Retail therapy. Retail therapy. I think I need to go to Sephora and Ulta. <sighs> feel better that felt good um so there's this one lip color that i wear almost every day it's called don't sell it out bitches because it's already sold out freaking at target and all the time online it's called rome by nyx and it's my favorite lip color and they don't have it anywhere so i'm gonna go into this ulta and i hope they have it i also need to get a gift card for someone from there bag secured i got two lipsticks a nail polish and a setting spray as well as a um gift card for someone and now i'm going home all right so once every few weeks there's this little like fake grass area that sugar goes potty in if it's an emergency i usually walk him or he like goes out to actual grass but usually if i'm just like in bed and it's late at night i will take him right here and he'll just potty there and i have to change it every so often because it's fake grass and it's probably one of the most vile things i ever have to do because it's just like smells like pee and like the smell of pee makes me way more grossed out than poo i don't know why so i literally i usually have to wear a mask but i don't know i always start gagging but i have to like pick it up and put it in this trash bag and replace them and it's just hell i hate doing this with all my heart and soul but sugar is my heart and soul so i have to do it for him all right here we go wish me luck people Oh my god, you guys have no idea how much I'm holding my breath. <coughs> I can't. <coughs> I'm sorry, this is so gross. Oh my god, that was freaking terrible. Now I gotta wash this with a hose and spray it down and then put the new ones down. Oh my god. 20 minutes later. Oh, I just changed into PJs and ate some din din. I gotta stuff my teeth. Wanna come up here? Aww. Shuggy. Mommy's had a hard day. Um, I think I've decided I am gonna go to the party tonight, so I'm just letting you guys know. I don't know why. It doesn't matter to you guys if I'm going or not, but yeah, I think I should go. Before I start getting ready for the party, I just took my nail polish off and I'm gonna do my nails with the nail polish I bought. It's just like this like sparkly, easy nail polish. I think I'm just gonna do like, it's called Grape Shifter. Grape Shifter, that's kind of cute. It's like a purplish color. Um, I've taken a break from acrylics and gel. I'm probably gonna do gel like next week again, but I just like, my nails, God, they needed a break. They were just like looking so rough. I'm in my short nail era right now. Not even in my short nail era. I'm in my doing my nails at home era, just cause I don't know, it's it's kind of relaxing. Oh, that's cute. It's just like a light little glitter, chunky glitter moment. You can't really see, but it kind of gives like arts and crafts. I don't know. It just reminds me of childhood having like these like chunky glittery nails. <laughs> And they're really easy to do because if you mess up, you can't tell, which is nice. I don't know, I love having acrylics and it's like, if it's a really good feeling always having your nails done when you have acrylics on or when you have gel polish on, but it's like a lot of maintenance. I, I get my like acrylics on like every two weeks, so I just haven't been feeling it. I'm in a new era. Ta-da, very cute. It has like a pinkish purple tint. It's perfect because you can't see if I messed up from, <laughs> even if you get up close to it. Oh. Focus. Look at that. Chunky, chunky, chunky. I just need some top coat. All right, people. I'm going to go start getting ready for the party. Um, I'm going to put pictures of my outfit at the end of this video. I just have to go uh, start uploading this footage because I literally have to upload in three days and I'm, there needs to be editing happening. It's behind the scenes stuff. You guys wouldn't get it. I'm just kidding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a little taste of how I'm doing. I'm okay. I just, you know, there's hard days and there's good days and without the bad days, there'd be no good days. I'm not good at this shit. I'm just good at being funny and making ha-has. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below for what you guys want to see next. It is <sighs> Time to Skedaddle.